Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I'm gonna actually review this Park Tools PCS-1 bike stand. This is the old one, probably from the 90s or something like that. I picked this up actually as a combination deal with the more modern one back there. And actually somebody's coming to pick this up for me and buy it from me right now. But I have used it for a while. It's not like I bought it and sold it immediately. I was keeping this one in my other house and that I am not there as frequently and uh, using this one over here but anyway i don't really need it anymore and i just wanted to make a quick review of of it and let you know how good it actually is especially compared to the cheap stuff you can buy on amazon or whatever but it's pretty basic um doesn't have them as many features as the modern one basically all you can do is with this you can take this out it's a little bit tedious but you actually need to unscrew this completely and you can switch to different clamping sizes for different diameter uh, seat tubes or top tubes or whatever you're clamping on but it basically just works like like so the other thing you can do with it is you can turn this and that loosens this cone which lets you rotate the entire clamp and then of course lock it's hard to do with one hand but ah, yeah I can't do it with one hand uh, lock the entire clamp the other feature it has is it does fold up nicely let's see if I can do it again with one hand it's not so easy to do with one hand but yeah, basically these go together and you can fold this whole thing up and put it up against your wall. There we go. Like so. But I just wanted to express um, how much better this is than one of these things you can buy on Amazon. I had bought one on Amazon for like $35. Actually, I actually have a video of it somewhere. I can link down below. But um, this I'm selling to the guy for 40 bucks, And that's about the same price as you can get one of these Amazon uh, cheap uh, work stands but this will probably last your light your whole life whereas those will last you about a year before they just start falling apart so let me go ahead and see if i can throw a bike up on it just to give you a little look at what it looks like and how it works by the way i did replace these they're still selling these because the, the one was missing when i bought it uh, so i ended up buying you know the set and they still make brand new parts from park tools and i think it was like eight dollars or something so not too expensive let's see if we can throw a bike in here real quick all right, this is a little bit tricky because I'm doing it with one hand. Um, but I'm just gonna yeah, stick that on there like that. Okay, it's balanced nicely. Uh, I, I don't actually, okay, so I can't totally demonstrate this. I don't have, um, all right, well, what we'll do is we'll change it. We'll make it work, hang on. Okay, there we go. I just moved, um, I unscrewed both of these and moved them from the center one to this far out one, which opens up and makes it where it can handle a larger diameter. So now I can clamp that down, unclamp it, clamp it. So there you go. Now, the one thing I will say that's not super great about this, and maybe it can be fixed if you were to replace this cone or something, is it is it can't hold a ton of uh, weight. So if I loosen this and like, turn the bike at some like weird angle like that. I can't do it with one hand, but if you have the bike like that and you turn that super tight, it might hold it like that or it might slowly droop. But if you have it kind of at normal angles like this, then it's pretty solid. So just one little war, uh, warning about that word, word of warning. There we go. <laughs> so, but otherwise, I mean, it's really stable. That's the thing I like about it. I mean, of course it can shake if you really shake it, but I've never like felt like it was going to tip over or fall over or be knocked over you know easily or anything like that so um if you can pick up one of these really cheap i've seen them for like on facebook marketplace between 20 and 50 bucks if you can pick one up uh, and, and you need a relatively cheap option please pick something like this it'll last you basically your lifetime as it compared to a year or so and you'll just be more happy using it it won't be flopping around won't be causing no issues worst of all those cheap ones what i had is like this uh plastic piece that was on those they also all have, also have a plastic piece it would just start coming off and falling off and I ended up gluing it. And every time I see a video on YouTube of somebody using one of those cheap ones, it's always the same thing. Like you can always see like the, the plastic part is falling off and it's super annoying. So yeah, if you're on a budget and you need a bike stand, uh, just search Facebook Marketplace for a month or two and you'll pick up one of these and you'll probably be pretty happy with it. Okay, that was my review. Talk to you guys later. Bye.